Right guys, I don't know if you saw it on television last night about uh, River Witham, where I live, uh, so much polluted hot water and there's thousands and thousands and thousands of dead fish floating about. So I'm gonna go and have a look. Uh, uh, I don't know if TV cameras are down here or not, but there's loads of cars down here, so I'm gonna have a look and if I can see any dead fish, I'll show them you like. It's terrible, absolutely terrible. Catch it a bit. Lot, guys, absolutely terrible. Let's look at all these poor fish. Some lovely roach, dace, there's all sorts in there, look at them. Some lovely fish at all, what a shame. What a shame. Thousands on them all the way up. Some it's, uh, it's got to be a farmer that's tipped some in, took with them or something like that to kill all that off. It's got to be. Little rod. All sorts. Yeah, got to be uh, some chemical somewhere along the line. Look at this. Look at that for a nice road. Hey, look. Beautiful fish, what a shame. Turn up the chap up end here taking water samples. Look. Just look at this lot, what a shame, disaster, total disaster for this with them, absolute total disaster. It'll take years and years and years to come back that now, now all them's being killed off. What a shame. Alright guys, the only thing that makes me day a little bit brighter is I've just seen Dakota flying right across the middle of Woodall, so that must mean it's getting warmer because they only come out when it's getting warmer They're, uh, towards springtime so it should be uh, getting warm once you see it Lancaster at Spitfires out then you know you're on your way towards summer look at that lot, what a shame dearly me, I don't know terrible right guys I'll see you later on just been talking to that chap there, and he's from the Fish Authority. Uh, and he's, they've tested water, and they said that it's ammonia that's got into water. But it's not just from Bardney, it's right down to Chapel Hill. And usually, he said, and he's got a little meter, what he's just showed me, uh, and usually for a, uh, what do you call it, contamination, it's like 0.1. The contamination and it's off the scale for here it's over 10 uh, so it's so it's totally he said it's devastating it is it'll take not this not our generation it'll come back it'll come back generation after he said it'll take 10 15 20 years 30 years to come back properly again now which is totally heartbreaking to be fair it's terrible but he just took some more water samples he were on television last night he uh, I saw him on television last night. Now he's off down further down with him. He's going down to um, Chapel Hill again now to test it down there. He's been up every day. Uh, but he said it's he says it's the amount of chemicals that's been tipped in. It's not just a little bucketful, if you know what I mean. To go from Bardney right to Chapel Hill and kill all the fish off all that way. Uh, it's a massive, massive amount that somebody's tipped in. Either a farmer, farmer's tipped in or some agricultural works or some sort of thing but it's uh, he said ammonia it, it's devastating for fish like so which is a really crying shame because we're just starting to come back this river with people starting to fish it again a few on they had a match on a wednesday usually uh, there were a few starting to fish it again but obviously that's the end of that now for a long time for years and years and years so i know a bit of information for you guys but uh, a bit of sad information really it is for us down here living down here like so but uh, anyhow, that's, that's it. That smashing bloke, an interesting bloke to talk to about it, like, and really interesting fella to talk to. I knew what you were talking about, and his little meter, what he showed me, and point 0.1 nights over 10 for contamination. Jesus, that's some contamination, that isn't it? What a crying shame. Anyhow, I keep saying that, right, guys. I'm waffling again, look. I'm going. I'll catch you all later. Bye for now.